Exciting stuff. I've got the keys to the new unit. So yeah, um, I've made the decision to go for that unit. Um, it's going to be a lot of work moving everything. I'm under no illusions that it's going to be a lot of graft. Uh, luckily, it's not too far away from my pre-existing units. Um, so that's really good. Um, yeah, it's uh, there's going to be a crossover period basically where I'm paying double rent. Um, so I've got to move it as soon as possible. Also, the unit that... Um, the what I call the dodgy unit, which is the one that's damp, uh, that I need to move out, out of fairly swiftly because the people who own the site are moving the units via a crane. So, yeah, uh, I don't like the idea of that much. So, uh, yeah, I need to get on with sorting all that. So, yeah, here's what the space looks like now. So yeah, a lot of the boxes have gone now. There's still some remaining ones left, plus these large pallet shipping crates at the side. So hopefully they'll be gone soon, but as you can see, when it's cleared out, it looks a lot bigger. Quite a lot of dust on the floor, so I'm going to have to start mopping and uh, sweeping up. So uh, I might try and time lapse that, uh, but that's certainly going to take a while, just because I don't want my stuff to get too dirty in here. I mean, it's already pretty dirty and musty, so I won't go over the top. So yeah, that window could do with a clean and then just a general tidy round before I start cramming it full of stock really. You know, it's steady, it's dry, it's not dusty, there's no moisture. Because the problem I've had with shipping containers is um, just the condensation. It's awful. And then I've got storage at another place that's just really dodgy. The people who run it are so dodgy. Um, you know, they're wanting to increase the rent. So I'm like, sod this. So this space, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an investment um, in in moving it all. It's um, it's not going to be fun to move it all. I've got to watch out with my back, um, and it's moving it for moving its sake again. And it's just, you know, a lot of it is unlisted inventory, and through the moving process, what I'm going to be doing is seeing what I can get rid of, what I can wholesale out to other sellers, what I can donate, what I can just take to the tip um really be brutal um but yeah i'll try and get some footage and show you the space uh, i'm just at one of my other units emptying out filling the car up uh before i take it over there i'll film what i can and show you the space beforehand so i'm going to go there and uh, we'll sweep it out mop it and then plan where things are going because um it's it's going to be listed inventory unlisted inventory and try and condense three storage spaces into one uh, I'll still have another one um, where I keep a lot of my listed stock uh, that's more secure with like CCTV. I mean, this has got CCTV and alarm system. It's super, super good alarm system. But my other one's got, you know, cameras that I can monitor and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so that's where I keep a lot of my listed inventory. Plus, I've got insurance and all that stuff. Um so yeah, uh, this is going to be a workspace, a sorting space. It's it's a decent size. Well, it's a very decent size. It's um, I think it's one thousand four hundred and something square foot, which is like fifty foot long uh, by twenty something foot wide. It's massive. Um, so yeah, um, crazy. So it's a lot of space to fill full of tat now. I'm not going to make the mistake that I've made with other times is that I get a bigger space and I just fill it badly. Uh, I've I've already ordered some shelving. Some of it's arrived already. I've got pre-existing shelving that I'm going to be moving over. Um, so, yeah, the only downside with this place is it's only open 
when my mate's there. So that's, I think, they operate in like eight till six or something like that, or eight till five. Um, so that is the downside, but that's a good thing in a way. I've still got my other space where it's 24 hour access, uh, which is good. So if I was out of hours or of the week, I think he's, I think he's in on Saturdays. I might be wrong. Um, but if it's at the weekend for unloading at the car boot, I've got my other space there. Or truth be told, I'll probably leave it in the car till Monday. Uh, and then unload then. So it's going to be a space where stuff gets brought, it gets processed, unloaded, it goes into this is the testing section. Um, this is the, you know, and then I can slowly work through my unlisted backlog of, of stuff and get some of that listed. And then it'll gradually change from shelves of unlisted stock to shelves of listed stock. <laughs> 